So the Pistons are in drop coverage here. You can't start in drop coverage and then Isaiah Le Livers just switches out of nowhere. Well, Marvin Bagley wasn't ready for you to switch. Can't guard like this if you're Killian Hayes. Look at him just staring at the ball, having no idea what his man is doing. It, come on. James Wiseman, as soon as Brooke Lopez crosses the three-point line, you got to initiate contact, and the battle for positioning starts now. Because if you don't, look at this. Now it's Brooke Lopez that initiates contact. Look where you just let him catch this ball. It's too low. Okay, so this is a cross screen right here. Jalen Duran needs to get attached to his man. When Javon Carter comes through, you jam this player coming through the screen so this player can get on the other side. But you're attached to your man. Because then guess what your man does? He sets a ball screen that you need to be in drop coverage for, which you're not at all. <sighs> okay, so right now, Brooke Lopez is facing up Jalen Duran right here. But as soon as he turns, all right, so he's turning right now. You need to get up and initiate contact with Brooke Lopez. Because if you don't, all Brooke Lopez is going to do is push you backwards. See how he just pushed you backwards like that? So that gives him the space for this. Okay, if you're Isaiah Livers, get in a defensive stance with your feet set. Look at Isaiah Livers' feet. Not in a defensive stance. Not set. So what does this mean? He's leaning this way as Pat Connaughton's coming this way. And now when that happens, look at the space. You have no chance of guarding this handoff now. You got to drop a little bit higher with Grace and Allen. You got to get you got to get in a defensive stance with your feet set anyways, but you get up a little higher. This is Grace and Allen, a great three-point shooter. You can't just give this up. All right, so Chris Middleton's posting up Corey Joseph right here. Okay, but when he turns to face you up, you can't defend him like he's posting you up. So he is turning. Stop. He's turning right now. So get in a defensive stance with your feet set. See, look at Corey Joseph. He's still defending him like he's in the post. Not going to work. Transition, you get to the nearest body. Half-court matchups do not matter. You just take the nearest body. So Corey Joseph's here. Jalen Duren's got to take the ball. That's transition defense for you. But Jalen Duren does not take the ball, and that's not going to work either. Pistons defender has no chance of guarding Chris Middleton like this. None. Now, Jaden Ivey is over here in the gaps. All right? So get up and play this player on his side. Force Middleton here. If Jaden Ivey can get his feet set, I can stunt and recover, or Jaden Ivey can help. This player can slide up here, and Jaden Ivey can end up in the corner. But this player has no chance of guarding Chris Middleton. So trying to play him one-on-one -on -one here is a total waste of everyone's time. Killian Hayes, and you want to get in the gaps, you need to sprint. you got to get your back to the baseline first because you're seeing ball, you're seeing man. Also, your feet are set. We know all that. But again, look at Killian Hayes. He is has no idea what his man is doing. Like, that is not good. Okay, so if Marvin Bagley is going to double team right here, you've got to rotate. So when then Pistons do. Like, Killian Hayes comes here, RJ Hampton comes here, but James Wiseman's got to go here. Marvin Bagley's not going to be able to go here. James Wiseman has to. And, well, Marvin Bagley goes, this is a disaster. What is Isaiah Livers doing? Stay with Chris Middleton. Bagley is staying with Pat Connaughton. Like, what are you doing here? Look at this. You have no chance of guarding this handoff now. Okay, so uh, James Wiseman gets beat off the dribble by Chris Middleton here. Okay, so Brooke Lo as this ball is being batted around, Killian Hayes can't be staring. Okay, you got to go find Grayson Allen and box him out. Because if you just keep standing and staring, standing and staring, well, now Grayson Allen gets that tap in. Again, if this player is doubling the post, James Wiseman can't be coming also in triple teaming. That's ridiculous. You've got to be, you've, you give yourself no chance to rotate anywhere when three players are guarding the ball. Okay, Jalen Dern right here. Stop. Coming off this ball screen, we're already in a problem. Because Jalen Dern has got to be up in a defensive stance with his feet set. You got to guard the ball. Okay? See, you're, all you're doing is backpedaling here. So you've got to be able to guard the ball and then rotate back on this pass being made here. But, see, you have zero chance of doing that when you're just backpedaling the entire way. Okay, so we have a turnover here. Stop. This Pistons player has to just sprint back. If you sprint back, there is no chance Brook Lopez stays ahead of you. But you can see the effort level, especially once we see him in the... Where are you going?
Okay, so Marvin Bagley gets beat off the dribble here by Grayson Allen. Stop. So if Corey Joseph comes to double, he's got to say that because Jalen Duran's got to stay out here because he's going to have to rotate to the corner. Jaden Ivey would have to then rotate here. Um, this player would rotate here, and this player comes back up onto Brooke Lopez. But we again, look at this. We have four Pistons players worrying about the ball. Uh, yeah, the perimeter's open. Hey, this is a bad switch. If you're switching onto the screener, you need to get underneath the screener. When you switch over the top of the screener, like, you know, this happens. Not be hugging Chris Middleton. The fact that you're hugging him like this, he is going to create space off of that. So look at now he's got you off balance. Look when you catches this ball. You're not ready to guard him. So now you're forced to have to crowd him, and that is no way to guard Chris Middleton. <laughs> Okay, could there be some effort level from this Pistons player here and, you know, sprinting back in transition? Are you kidding me with this? Wow. Wow. See, this is the problem. James Wiseman has got to get up and guard the ball. You got to be in a defensive stance with your feet set because you got to be able to guard the ball and then rotate back to Brooke Lopez. You give yourself no chance of doing so when all you're doing is backpedaling. This is a... <sighs> Again, it's this kind of effort level that will get you destroyed against Chris Middleton. You must sprint back. You must get your feet set. You must be in a defensive stance. This is not what that is. So all you're doing is backpedaling and backpedaling and backpedaling. I mean, how easy is that? What is Killian Hayes doing? Get over here. Get your feet set. Get in a defensive stance. What is Killian Hayes doing? This is so ridiculous to watch. Hey, if you're Jaden Ivey and you're boxing out here, you've got to use the lower half of your body that drives Chris Middleton away from the ball. You're boxing out using the upper half of your body. That's Now Middleton is moving you, not vice versa, and so this is an easy offensive rebound. Box out. The shot is in the air. Isaiah Livers boxes out Brooke Lopez. Jaden Ivey boxes out Bobby Portis. How does this... Why is Jaden Ivey boxing someone out that Livers is supposed to be boxing out? You cannot just start and drop coverage like the Pistons are and then say, mm, never mind, let's switch. Because now Isaiah Livers is switching from over the top of Brooke Lopez. So who do you think is getting this rebound now? Isaiah Livers, you cannot lean towards this screen right here. Look at him leaning towards the screen. You're just going to get beat the other way.